salti che mi uccide in queste note guardo ancora la luna dolce mi sorride non sembri tu il ricordo corre muore vola su nel buio a cuor di ghiaccio luce a giorno schiara il cielo triste dirà e ancora notte
voglio qualche cosa di te che sempre rimanga qui con me e ora non ho più qui con me Yeah, baby. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back after quite some time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. I'm choking. Oh, we're starting okay tonight. Very good. Choking myself. Hello, Frungi. Fuck it, man. I'm dying already. How about you, Frungi? Thank you so much for the resub tier 2. Thank you very much, my dear. How are you doing? Now, welcome everybody, of course. Welcome aboard the lovely um, MD80. We're going to start with the battery. <coughs> Jesus. And external power already. Oh, we don't have sounds. Ah, really? Wait, 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 wait. 
That sh oh no! Oh no, that should be the one actually, no? That's the one. Hmm, why I don't uh, hear sound, guys? What is the problem here, baby? We don't hear anything? Okay, let's try... Uh. No? Oh boy, this is not good. Should be... I should have speakers even. Why don't I have speakers here? Oh boy, this is not nice. This is not nice. It's not this one, of course. Did it unplug? I don't think so. Okay, wait a second, guys, because this is like uh, crazy bad. Why is not seeing my shit? How are you doing, by the way? Is everybody doing okay? Let's see, maybe. We hear blings on the Elgato. Oh, really? Oh, so you hear it, but I don't. Okay, so at least that one works. Okay, so that's that's good. That's already a start, but that's not the interface that we need. Um, this one should actually show up as speakers, not Realtek Digital. So I'm just trying to understand what was it. Uh, sound settings. Let's have a look. Pa pa. What is this thing? Oh, maybe that's the... I don't know. Input, I don't care. So there is... Oh, maybe... Oh, 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 okay. So that's the video. Okay. So, okay. Windows obviously generates the audio and this is, this is fine. We like that. Uh, I can stop this one. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, but it shouldn't be like that. Hmm. Maybe I need to. I need to restart the system. Yeah, it doesn't see it. Stereo mix. Uh, I don't think this is something I need to be honest. I will try. Ah no 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 no! Fuck it! I don't care about this. Ah boy, test. Uh, nothing hmm okay manage sound devices link i think i did right i did already right yeah this one should become should become speakers not digital audio so i'm wondering did i plug the wrong way no because the last time i actually did stream with the sounds and i haven't touched it so uh yeah i'm gonna try and restart let's try and, res and uh, restart the reboot maybe we'll just have a little chat in the meantime restart let's have a look i can i have the chat on the other screen anyway uh this is this is a bit sucky at the moment but uh, don't worry i'm gonna check also if the cable is properly plugged <coughs> in uh, in the back yeah i will do that as well one second One second, I might have found it. Oh. I need a light. I think I found it. Amor 
Okay. I think I found it. Maybe. We're gonna try now. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's start explaining again. Fucking hell. All right. Sorry about that, guys. There was actually one cable unplugged, so I must have touched it. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. We're going to load up in uh, Palermo and uh, get to do a early morning flight to Innsbruck. Keeping an eye on the time because we're looking towards uh, the explain um, panel, whatever they do at FES, FS Expo. That could be interesting. Maybe not. Maybe yes. We'll take a look. We will take a look. Mainly Mo and, uh, Molly doesn't really get there, but uh, it could be. No, usually she doesn't even, she cannot physically get there. <laughs> it's very cramped. One hour and a half to the panel of X-Plane. So we're going to keep that uh, open. And uh, we do have a flight plan as well. I don't know. I must have done something. Still don't understand how, but <laughs> clearly I must have done it. Anyway, that's fine, no worries. Ah, maledetto. Fiorda vaca. Come mai? Figlio di putana. Allora, ne? New. Uh, rotate Palermo. And we're gonna make it um, 5.20 in the morning. all right all right guys good to good to see you anyway so tomorrow you're gonna work uh, you have the day shift well hopefully hopefully we'll see some more of the family tonight coming in dropping dropping in who knows might happen might not what are we going to looking at uh, and uh, on the explain uh, side of things, uh, what are we looking forward to, guys? What kind of news are we waiting for? What do you think? I'm just hoping they're gonna um, announce some dates, maybe something like that. That'd be nice. Now, let's do this. Uh, uh, All right, so this is going to take uh, a long, long time, but it's fine. We should be there. We should get there. And um, t -t 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 -t, that's for XP next public beta. Yeah, exactly. That'd be nice. I agree. I agree. That'd be very nice to know. Mm. Who knows, man? Who knows? We will see. All right, getting on board, very nice, very cool, okay, x Enviro is loading up, we're uh, very beautiful, and we should have something there, I think, yeah, here, at least ballpark this year, next spring, summer, yeah, yeah, that'd be very nice, dude, that'd be very nice, so we need the GPU, we're gonna open some doors and uh, we're gonna enter the information here. Now, we're gonna take a look at our flight plan. Uh, fuel would be 14 tons. 14, really? That much? From Palermo? Okay. 14 tons and the total payload uh, would be 18 tons. Boom, baby. Trip fuel, ah, 13.5. Oops. Is that okay? Hmm. I see. There's something in red here, but we're not gonna. We're not caring too much. So load fuel, load cargo. Oh, we need the cargo doors open. Yeah. Start uh, and passenger start. Uh, and in the meantime, we're gonna start uh, uh, taking care of the plane. Oops. What did I do there? So the battery. No. No, 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 that's not the battery. This is the battery and the external power. 
All right. If there's still going to be any updates for... Yeah, that'd be also nice to know. I agree. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, nav lights. Uh, yeah, that's enough for now. And uh, some panel lights, please. Here. Okay. And uh, we can probably start our APU. Open the tanks... Uh, and the pumps, uh, maybe not all of them, but that's fine. And start the APU. Do we have enough for the APU? Yes, she's starting. Good. And here we are. From the outside. APU is starting. Oh, we also have the... D.B. Cooper stairs open. Nice. Lovely morning in Palermo. The rock behind us. With, I think, a little issue. Oh, I remember. Yeah. I think there is an issue here. I'm not entirely sure. It could be or it could not be even, but... Might. Anyway. APU has... is his. Manual control. APU is starting. Okay. Um, roop, roop. And roop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fuel is uh, getting in. The payload is also increasing because we're loading. Uh, um. The fuck is this? Oh, a helicopter. Oh, a plane. There's a plane. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, it's a Cessna. Jesus. Sounds like a helicopter. Nice, though. Very nice. Gonna turn on this uh, just in case we need something here. Um, do we need anything here? I don't think so. Mm, maybe the maps. That's it. Now we grab. Oh, wow. I like it. Che bello! <laughs> Your navigator can is now linked to every tab. Use the home button to close this up. Okay. Use it. the airport app. Okay, airport. Oh, wow. Nice. All right, I didn't know about this, actually. Enter. Wow, look at that. Jeez, that's beautiful. Okay, I like that. So, let's go back to our route because we need to start aligning the plane. First of all, where is it? Um, is it on top? Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, over there, right? Yeah, one, two, one, two. Okay. And, uh, oh, we don't have the pop out okay that's fine position in it gps i believe that's the one l i c j uh yes that's the one so we're gonna take this align the thingy and get the route to lobby innsbruck baby and the route will be where is it okay so we're going to luron and that will be, and then we're going to use a seed, but we'll take later. And then the mic 726, let's see if we do have good uh, to pamer. I didn't update, I didn't install the FMC updaters for Navigraph, so I'm running probably a old uh, ARAC version on this plane, but that's fine. Uh, Gotmo. Gotmo. And then uh, direct to Belov, Akado. So we're going to enter Akado directly because I don't really want to skip a few. And then uh, Nanit, which will be our entry point for the star. Okay, now let's do the departure and arrival. We are given runway 07 on uh, Palermo and Leluron 
six alpha we have here do we have it yes six alpha perfect so that's the one for the departure and for arrival we should have we should look for runway zero eight oh nice okay we'll do that we'll do the zero eight coming via the nanit uh, to alpha and uh, we will take uh, for now let's say shall we take an approach there are our navs let's have a look maybe we can take a look on uh, avitabir for that uh, yeah what you think if we enter low we yes and if we take the approach I like that actually. I really do like this. Arrival actually. Nani to Alpha. Check this out, baby. That's beautiful. Okay, Nani to Salzburg. Oh, okay. That's the airplane. The airport. Okay. So we don't care because we get to Rattenberg anyway. So that's fine. Um. So the approach in this case would be, let's have a look. This starts from here. No, we're gonna, we do a circle to land. Buonasera, Struso. Come stai? Tutto bene? Visual approach, circle to land. Yeah, we'll do this actually. And uh, from Rattenberg, okay. So how do we code that in the FMC? No idea. I think just zero eight, right? Or we just take the localizer to six and then we break for the, yeah, transition Rottenberg. That's perfect. Okay, baby, we have it. Legs. Very nice. Okay, in it ref. Next page, we don't. Okay, what else do we have to do here? Um. Ha, huh. I keep forgetting. Route is fine. Oh, performance in it. But I can't execute because, yeah, okay. Okay, so we got it at least. Is it still uh, loading the plane? Passengers less than a minute. Uh, fuel uh, five minutes. Uh, yeah, we'll wait for the alignment anyway. Astruz, allora, cosa mi racconti di bello? What's the Q&H here? Q and H, Q and H is um, one zero two zero. Two zero, baby. Do we have to set the others as well? Uh, no, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna climb. Uh, I don't know gonna do something like that first and then we'll think about it this will be set to some kind of v2 plus something and uh, we will do like a, a very simple departure i think so departure is going to be again uh, i forgot already is the jano sorry luron six luron six this one the alpha departure Nella pianura è discretamente caldo. Sì, ho sentito in effetti. Hmm. Ok, so that's our departure. Run with 07. Eh, this one, I believe. The long one. So just 800 left turn towards... Uh, Radial, what is this radial? Zero zero three of uh, Punta Raisi. Okay, heavy weather. Buonasera, Palermo, Innsbruck. Esatto. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna set one one three for my VOR. Okay, one one three zero and zero zero three just as a reference. Really, we're gonna do the same here, just in case. You know, one one three. It's always good to have some kind of reference like that, you know. Never hurts. Never hurts. Okay. And then what else? That's it, baby. 
we do have an alignment and uh, cargo expedite baby expedite okay now let's go here and take a look at all these things is this populating yes reserves two cost index three seven cruising altitude uh, cruising altitude would be qual è qual è qual è a quanto ci mandano 300 feet and uh, the winds will be 266021 0 is a dev 7 plus 7 exact nice baby transition altitude is a lot less probably 6000 take off uh, outside temperature is uh, 26 degrees baby 26 gradi a palermo caldino Flex temperature, we will set it to, so let's go flex already and set it to 60. Oh, really? Okay, so we'll do 45, something like that, yes. Ok, uh, mi faccio lo stesso voletto, grande, grande. Sì, deve essere un bel, un bel volettino, it's a nice flight this one, yeah? Very nice. Ok, so everything is ready. Expedite the fuel too, thank you. Ok, we do have 14 tons of fuel, cargo doors, doors, retract and close. Ok, let's start the... The APU is started already. We're going to add some bleed and power from the APU. So we can disconnect the external power. Get the bleed on. Well, we're going to start the engines soon anyway. So we're not going to bother too much about it. Okay, ragazzi, ci siamo. GPU off. We don't need it anymore. Vai ragazzi, vai. Nerdrage, Roteto, good evening sir, how are you doing? Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much again for uh, the, uh, the little flight you, di you did today. Thank you, thank you. Okay guys, so we're going to start the engines without any further ado. Do we have pre-assure? Do I have the pre-assure on my plane? Maybe I need to set this off. Is it changing anything? Mm, not really. Um, this is off. Perfect. Or maybe not. Maybe I need this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, we have enough. Okay. Let's go. Uh, start pump on. And uh, engine left, please. Is it starting? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I keep forgetting this thing every time on the MD-80. Always, always forgetting these things. Ah, bastardo. All right. Sorry, guys. It's always like that. I don't think I need, but I will probably take this. Okay. And, um, and now we have the valve open. Yes. Non so da meno decente se seguito da un passo mi sono accorto vicino a una macchina e ho cominciato per essere mezzo lui con Ah ok. Beh no, ma è fa una volta che si impara è facile. Ok guys, let's have a look at the start. È l'aereo più bello del mondo questo, senza ombra di dubbio. 16 Richiede un po' di conoscenza, però è, alla fine è facile. And let's go, fuel. Oops. Sì, speriamo sia buono il tempo, sì. Okay, we have one engine, a good engine, one good engine, off, off, engine right, please. 
and we have the valve we have rotation of n2 we're gonna set this guy to we could use this actually Sì, non è un aereo difficile, però richiede un po' di... Uh, sì, getting used to. And fuel, please. Now, the flaps will be 11. CG is... Ok, we'll take a look later. Actually, we can take a look now. Uh, performance. Do I have a CG here? I don't, oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, here, seven, sorry, in front of my eyes. Seven. Okay. And that's where we need uh, our... Let's set the trim. Stabilizer motion. I know, Betty, I know. We're, uh, we're moving a lot of things here. Ok, I think 11 should be fine. This should be fine. Yeah, ok, long trim is set. And we'll close this. Ok, we'll set this off. Ignition off. Open the, the air for the people. Ok, people are breathing. What else do we need? Your damper on. Thank you and uh, logo light uh, why not uh, we're gonna set uh, these guys to both anti-collision that's enough guys wing lights we don't need nice beautiful flight recorder i don't even know where the flight recorder is dude the fuck is it is here i always i always forget there is maybe something like that uh, I don't know where it is. That's okay though. We're gonna stop the APU for sure. APU goes off. And uh, TTD, we don't need any anti eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Flight recorder should, should, should uh, turn on automatically though. Because I remember it kind of goes away after a while. Uh, this one, test. I don't know. This one is. Oh, isn't it? Oh, it's already on. Anyway, fuck it. And uh, let's see, guys. Let's go. So we have both engines on. We are. Let's see. Oh, nice. I like that. Zoom, okay, okay. We need the airport uh, information, please. Of, uh, oh, actually, shit. Ah, motherfucker. Airport. Taxi routes. Not this one. How do I get... Uh, Okay. Yeah, we don't uh, we don't know where we are here though. Airport info chart. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the Okay. So runway 07. All right, so we we'll basically do a power back and then we get on tango all the way down to the runway. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, so a bit of nose, nose lights. Let's have a look at our, ourselves. Looking good, baby. Looking pretty. Okay, let's go. Let us uh, go. Um, clock. And then we need to set some flaps as well. Um, where's the clock here? I hate when I keep forgetting things on planes. Fucking hell, and I know it's in front of me, here. There you go. 
here uh, this one no this one oh no no this one no 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 wait I know what this is okay fuck it all right let's go um, andiamo 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 parking brake off and flight director on on all the time okay let's go actually we do a power back first povero struso da solo <laughs> we're gonna do just a straight uh, power back because I think uh, we don't have a lot of space there so we don't want to mess too much and so what we'll do we'll just do something like that okay let's go these are armed it and let's go baby we need tango all the way down huh? and flaps uh, coming to 11 okay that's uh, that's where we need to go nice do we hear enough plane not much huh? Are you at the desk of flying this uh, with the Thrustmaster? <laughs> Man, did you see it? Is it good? I think I saw a comment of one of you guys saying that it's probably um, a halfway through, a, hal a halfway through between the Shytek and uh, and the um, Honeycomb, maybe. Could be. I do not know. So flaps are at eleven. And that means uh, that we can set our V speeds. Okay. Jesus, 158. Are you kidding me? Motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of. That's actually a lot of stuff. Okay. Anyway, we'll keep uh, taxing and uh, we'll care about it later. At least the thrust uh, has a lot more. A lot more than Shytek. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm curious to know, to see. And here we go, baby. Now, the weather radar, why not? We might need it. Okay. Tikas, uh, we need Tikas as well. Where's my Tikas here? Here. We. Oops. Okay. Yeah, guys, we're good. 30,000. Okay, select. Perfect, everything is good. Hmm. 55 FPS. Uh, yes, it's good, isn't it? <coughs> it's not shabby with X and Viro, isn't it? Or at least, uh, I would say. It's not too bad. We, uh, we are authorized to cross it. Keep taxing, come on. We're almost there, baby. Almost there, come on. Oops. Well, we also have to say one thing about this, that uh, the rotate is a very performing plane, okay? Look at that. Librain is actually taking a lot of it, when we don't even need it, you know. So the MD-80 is actually well optimized as a plane. Librain, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe it's an old implementation and I should disable it. Let's see, aircraft management. No, we don't. I think they have an old version. Yeah, I'm not running Vulcan at the moment. Huh? I'm running OpenGL. Just to just to be precise we're not running Vulcan so I'm running OpenGL at the moment 
it actually works better for me. Vulcan still crashes too often. Last time it also did. So OpenGL for all the way, baby. At least for now. Okay, guys, are you ready? Shall we go? All the volume. And uh, yeah, let's go. Come on, baby. Now we're gonna set some vertical speed like that, uh, just uh, to be sure. And uh, 800 feet left turn towards. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Carvo. Ciao, Caro. How are you doing? Uh, what is it? Luron 6. Uh, so 800 feet left turn towards that radial. Okay, left turn to 333. Okay. So we're gonna set 333. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Boom, baby. Power is good. EPR. Boom, baby. We need the yoke. Thank you. So, runway heading. Mm. I think the derate setting was not a good idea. I think that was a very bad idea, but it's okay. Flaps are set. Everything is set. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't... Don't have the runway finish on me. Don't let the sound, the sun go down on me, you motherfucker. Come on. Yes, yes. Yes, it's a long one. V1, a rotator. have a positive rate I think the trim uh, I, I had to set the trim a little more probably okay now we head in oh shit yeah I should have gone toga <laughs> toga was a better idea that's okay we're gonna keep uh, climbing uh, this Jesus 800 feet and turn left to the heading that we need okay and then uh, try to keep the plane heading heading select and uh, let's go IIS climb all right speed is 180 perfect This is the turn. I clipped a tree, probably. Yeah, probably, yes. Uh, altitude. Uh, see, altitude. Align. <laughs> Hello, Align. How are you? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, dude. How's it going, man? Pitch down a bit. Okay, it's time to clean the plane. Set this to 250, something like that. Thank you. And we need to basically intercept the radial. So we'll wait for that. Okay, okay. Um, are we on? Yeah, we are. Oh, sorry. That's what I needed to change. Yeah, I, I again, another thing I keep forgetting on this plane. Always, always, dude, always. Flaps coming up. Oh wow. Still haven't intercepted this thing, okay. Laps completely up. Very nice. Spoko, buonasera, buonasera. How are you doing, sir? Okay, we're looking for 239, 240. 
Flaps are up, plane is clean, we haven't intercepted the VOR yet, the radial, but uh, we should be on the good way to go. Waiting for that guy to intercept. Climbing nicely. Gonna pitch down a little more, we need to maintain the speed here. We can probably get some autopilot. Yeah, we're crossing, I think. Yeah, I see the needle moving. The needle is moving. How are you doing, Spoko? Good to see you, man. How's it going? Waypoint alert. Oh, yeah, we're probably getting uh, there already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's fine. Speed is good. And now we can take uh, on our nav. Nav track. Oh, I can't turn. The plane is... I think I need to recalibrate my my yokes. I believe. Okay, I'm gonna go here, try to level it off, and then uh, autopilot will be engaged. 5,000 feet. Uh, yeah, we're heavy anyway. We're pretty heavy, and I should have considered that in setting the flaps. I think I set two little flaps probably for this flight for the takeoff I didn't calculate properly but it's okay I mean what do you expect okay autopilot please one on okay autopilot is on we're going to set 250 for now keep climbing the lights can come off yes so, selected altitude, nav track, CL, EPR, IIS, perfect. We're good. Look at that, a massive derate, yeah. Derate was too much, was way too much. Look at that, he's struggling, look at, <laughs> povero, poor plane. He's struggling like crazy. Yeah, definitely not a good way to, not a good calculation of the takeoff here, guys. Uh, failed miserably tonight. As always, <laughs> not that we, not that we are too surprised, isn't it? Look at this uh, sunrise on X Enviro, on one of the most beautiful looking, best looking wings on uh, on X plane. We can get rid of that. We don't really need that for now. Okay, keep it clean. It's nice, isn't it? Let's see if we have, do have a better view. Hmm, nah. This one is better. It's beautiful, man. And I hope we do have hatch shake enabled. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, we're 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 overweight tonight. I should have taken that into more account than I did, but it's okay. We are already on the sea of course uh, we will uh, basically cross Italy today cross Italy for the length let's go map view yeah map view bit of turbulence that's it yeah no traffic inside we can go standard 1012 okay 13 and uh, I think I can go with, oh boy, I keep forgetting this thing, wait, VNAV, that's what I want, FMS EPR, 300 knots, perfect, perfect, okay, that's exactly what I wanted, are we secretly frying for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, we have just passengers, not cargo, but fucking hell, man, that, that takeoff would deserve a, a replay, if it was a default plane, maybe I would. Or maybe, I need to remember when we get to the end of the flight, um, if the plane, if X-Plane doesn't crash, we could try and do a replay of the takeoff. Jesus, that was, um, yeah, we could have probably died. In real life, uh, we could have, yeah, we probably would have died already with that takeoff, but we don't care, you know. Not our problem anymore. Look at this. Main. Let's have a look again. 
I love this plane. I just love it so much. I just love it so much. And I have to say that it's still holding up like crazily good, uh, considering the age, because it's already a bit of an aged plane, you know? Phil White, my friend, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. How are you, man? How are you? I hope everything is, uh, is well for you, is good for you. That you're safe, everybody else is safe. You know, like it's holding up like crazy. And um, again, I just want to point out, oh Jesus Christ, okay. I just want to point out something, you know. Excellent virus taking its core, it's it's good amount. MD80 is also taking a bit, but not too much. Lee Brain is taking too much. Because I think, again, this plane is running a probably slightly older version of, uh, and I don't think you can disable it. I don't think there's a way to disable Librain here. So we kind of have to live with it, unless it's an option here, but I don't think so. No, it's not an option in the, in the Habitat. You know what I mean? Nah. Okay, well, let's keep an eye on Lowy. Rotating here is great, yeah, yeah, MD-11, me too, man, yes, yes. The one thing I really love about this plane is, like, it's super FPS friendly, no matter how many plugins or heavy plugins you have. And is like, if you compare it with the ENI simulations, you know, both the 3 and 310, uh, they're very heavy still. Or any other complex puzzle plane. Which is unfortunate, I'm hoping... That will improve in the next version of X-Plane. I'm hoping maybe, but that's more Lua, X-Lua limitations, right? Compared to 3... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that is not even Sazzle. So, you know, it's just an example that is not really the code, probably, but it's more the way you write it and the way you optimize it. The Tollis is also good. Very true. Yes, I agree. The Tollis is also pretty good on FPS. I agree. Very true. Wait a second. I need to pump up the volume here a bit. Boom, 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 pa, pa. Test, 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 test. Sa, sa, sa. Okay. A little more amplification. Okay. Okay, baby. Nice. So, how are you guys keeping tonight? Uh, how, how are you keeping? Let's have a look at this, a little uh, orbit view, why not? Enjoy the beauty. Look at that. If I got MSFS, yes man, absolutely, yes. The Hornet is good, yeah, well, everything on DCS, isn't it? Everything in DCS is uh, super smooth on pretty much any hardware you have, which is quite amazing. It's about how well you process stuff, considering you need to keep the main plugin thread sync to the FM. Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. I think it all comes down to how well you code, basically, and how well you respect the explain environment. Um, I know Sazzle has some limitations, like it's not multi-thread aware, but probably you can come up with something that does it, or it's probably not that big of an impact as much as bad code or badly optimized one, you know? That's what I would say, and that's what I say. That's what I say. Oh boy, we're dropping frames here, why? We're dropping frames like crazy, why? Motherfucker. Wow, there was a lot of drop frames. Did you notice anything, guys? I don't know what it was. Oh, maybe when it's restarted. Maybe when they re when I reboot it. Yeah, probably. It's uh, yeah. So anyway, it's uh, it's good plane, man. It's good looking plane. Jesus, so beautiful. So let's have a look inside. Uh, we're uh, going well. In V enough climb, a lovely speed. I wish I had a little more control of the sound here, but unfortunately, interior, ex okay, interior a little more, please, environmental a little more. No, no change, okay. 
Still after so many years. I know, I know. I mean, look at that. It's still, oh, it's, it's almost like the XCG, you know. I don't know if you agree with me, but I, I believe I X, the 733 XCG is still a plane that hold, it's holding up with textures, 3D, FMC, really done well if you consider the age it has, you know. So kudos to that, and uh, hopefully it will keep being updated. We don't really know for sure, but that's the idea, you know. See, so the idea, that my point is, certain planes are living up to their age much, much better than others. That's, you know, that's my, that's what I'm saying. And I believe this one, Rotate is definitely one. Uh, uh, Fly GC in the 727, despite the limitations, unfortunately, but uh, it's still kind of old enough. Uh, Align is playing uh, Warzone. What is that? Is a game? It's like um, common. What is it? CS:GO. Single start with FM frames essentially results in single thread plugin because most systems require current start data, anyways. Yeah, unless you work around it your way, probably. Yeah. The upcoming is also pretty great. Yes, I wanna. I'm curious to see the impact first. Because I was curious on the 742, but then it's it, it's like heavy as fuck. So um, I wanna look. I wanna see first how it performs on other machines, on other people's. Because uh, I already did the mistake, made the mistake with the Ini simulation. But the entire fucking plane uh, is you know halving halving your your system as FPS just because. It's performing great. That's good to know. That's good to know. So, so yeah, that's all I want to see. I want to see somebody, you know, with a similar machine to mine and opening up, plugging at plugging admin, performance manager, and show me how it goes. Because, yeah, because I it's it's better to go that direction, but it's probably gonna be a, a, a I'm, I'm I'm not sure about Instabuy, but. For sure, a plane I will buy, for sure. I mean, Q400, are you joking me? So, but I want to wait first a bit. And see how it goes. Um, but yeah, there's so much, guys. So much to look forward for x this year. Uh, meanwhile, 46 minutes to the start of this thing here that we're going to look together, guys. We will take a look together at this beautiful uh, panel by Lamina Research. That'd be very interesting. That'd be good to see. Still a bit heavier than 732, but it's still quite a quite a beta login enabled. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the we'll see the production version, how it goes. I'm sure it will be it will be running fine especially considering that a lot of hardware at the moment is super modern and uh, and beefy anyway you know so but yeah i mean this one at the moment is like 40 plus stable fps textures are looking great you know you don't you don't need much you don't need that much on a plane just model it okay model it well and the modeling also, this in this case is also very nice, you know, it's still a good 3D model in this one. Nothing really to say. Could be more polished, could be polished, could be more refined, absolutely. But it's still a damn good job for, the, again, the age this plane has in it. I think so. So, yeah. Let's see what else do we have here. So music, maybe? What you think? Uh, I do have this one. Well, no, it's a bit of, you know, let's promote, for fuck's sake. Let's promote the album, baby. And to promote the album, uh, I don't know which version I should use. I will use this. Okay. So anyway, thank you, Frunji. If anybody wants to listen to our new album, guys, we 
you can find that link every version you can even purchase the audio CD uh, really nice I, I advise you to do it um, and there's so much uh, we've done uh, for uh, to produce this that uh, any listen or purchase you can make is definitely gonna help us a lot a great deal hello caracciola this is a really big plane for me is it yeah well it's okay it's not that big i've flown much bigger planes poi però ti fai sentire ma certo actually partiamo da intimo okay we'll start with intimo which is not part of the album but because heavy weather is a good friend of the channel and he deserves the priority in this case so we'll start with Intimo and then uh, a few more songs from the album guys I hope you like them and if you really do like them a lot then uh, feel free to to go on that link and, uh, and click anywhere to to listen or purchase it V107 for 8 man machine is the biggest right yes yeah that would be the biggest I have which not installed at the moment the biggest install is probably the Beluga <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys, let's go outside. In uh, The music requires... This is a... No, this is an MD-80, man. It's not really big, actually. If you notice, it's not really big of a plane, this one. Oh. Ah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, one first and then Intimo. Okay, guys, so it's a bit of... It's the time of musical promotion. Once again, I will leave you with a, uh, a few songs from the album. I hope you like them. And Heavy Weather, Intimo, sarà la seconda. So this is, again, I will leave you with the MD-80, beautiful plane, uh, flying from Palermo, Italy, to Innsbruck, Austria. And in a matter of a few minutes, we should start seeing the Italian coasts. We should be able to get, we should start to see, we're about to see the Italian coast. I think we're going to enter Italy around Rome, around Lazio maybe, that area. But yeah, enjoy the views guys and hopefully enjoy the music. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes with you. Enjoy. Si illudono 
Intimo coming up. Scivola su valli d'argento il respiro delicato s'avvolge all'istante rubato sottile si intreccia e par fuoco dorato ali leggere ti fa e perduto d'ammiro intimo come sono per te tu che sei Speriamo. Rotola su monti di bronzo, il sospiro, dolcemente si stringe allo sguardo rapito, sublime volteggia e par fuoco subito, ali leggere ti dà. Sbarrito d'amico Intimo Come sono per te Tu che sei l'amore Intimo Come sono per te Il dolore più intimo del cuore mio Che mai potrà dimenticarti Mai intimo come sono per te Sono per te, tu che sei il dolore Oh wow. Okay, before we start with the other one, let's have a look uh, how we're doing here, guys. How is everybody doing? Are you enjoying the views? Are you enjoying the songs? I hope so. Oh, we need to clean something here. We don't like that. We will do a direct, uh, we will uh, remove Latina. I don't like this leg. So we will do Pemar. Boom, baby. That's what we're doing. All right. A little correction of the flight plan. 
so we will take a more, uh, I'm going to say, straightforward route. We're going super well. Mach 0.75, 7.6 almost. Nice. 30,000 feet, VNAV, nav, LNAV, VNAV, basically everything. Everything is running perfectly. Let's have a look uh, if we do have some information here. Top of descent in 330 miles. That's okay. It's about, what is it, uh, an hour? Something like that, maybe less. Maybe less than an hour. It's now... We're going from Ponza. 5, 12, uh, 5.55. 5, 40 minutes. More or less, 40 minutes. Okay, we'll descend when the panel is started already. The explained panel is started. Okay, it's starting in uh, 30 minutes, 32 interesting okay we're gonna we will start seeing something here oh wow yes we do have some uh, that's ponza that's the island uh, outside of uh, rome more or less and that's uh, a bit of italy baby nice lovely it's a bit of a strange tile there i think something strange or maybe something completely natural I have no idea it could actually be like that don't know but looking good maybe this view would be nice now yeah. maybe this one should be fine a little more music what do you think yeah guys we're gonna keep uh, giving you some uh, some music from our latest album once again I hope you enjoy the, uh, the tunes and the views in the meantime heavy weather spero ti riusciremo a vedere prima o poi non nel simulatore ma almeno idealmente vicino a noi maybe a forest yeah yeah it could be yeah it looks like uh, it's not really a tile issue isn't it there's even uh, yeah there's even a road yeah it's probably a forest look at that yeah look at that Dovrei atterrare sulla 26, ok. Sì, io vedo il tempo, il meteo, se è buono. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Non avevo mai fatto caso che c'è questa formazione di verde, a quanto pare, vicino a Roma. Interesting, yeah, even that part, I don't know what that is. An interesting part of Italy, for sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it looks like it's something. Uh, it's definitely not a tile issue. Almeno secondo Simbri, poi vediamo il tempo, va bene. Here we are, turning on uh, the anomaly. <laughs> Some massive farm with crops wildly differing from... Yeah, possibly, yeah, possibly. Yeah, there's definitely not a tile issue because there's a road going in, in between, so... It's either a natural reserve or something... Something like that. Okay, then uh, from now on, uh, basically we will go in uh, all over Italy. We will basically we won't be able, we won't see any water, I think, until the arrival, more or less. We're going to cross Italy for the long way. Now, going approximately north. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I will give you Riserva Statale Piscina delle Bagnature. Aha, there you go. It's a reserve, it's a natural reserve, state a reserve. Interesting. Ah, Sabaudia, okay. Natural uh, area, protect the natural area. 75, 57 acres, hectares. Okay, wait, no, an hectare is not an acre. Hectare, oh, yeah, hectares, yeah, yeah. But in uh, English, is an acre? Hector, no, it's an hector. Not an acre, okay. Hectares. Okay. Some, um, yeah, unit of measure discussion as well. Why not? That's what you get. Nice, nice. Many birds. Ma much, a lot of game. Nice.
Oh, it's in the Parco del Circe, okay, which is a much bigger place as well. Okay, interesting. Interesting, thank you. Good to know. Very good to know, baby. Look at that. Yeah, lovely views. Lovely, lovely views. And uh, we're going fast enough, I think, uh, to get there soon enough, quickly enough, I guess. I'm still dubious about that amount of fuel that I got. I think it's way too much. But hey, what do I know? Maybe, maybe it's okay. Anyway, guys, I will uh, keep playing some music, some songs from the album. Hope you like it. And enjoy. This is Adesso Che. Una notte d'inverno Troppo tempo è Passato dall'amore tra di noi Il mio cuore ancora Va cercando te Certo di trovarti prima o poi Sei lontana nel mare Tu vorrai tornare un porto solo ormai sarò sempre ad aspettarti io con te troverei un vuoto grande che non c'è quando suono la chitarra vedo che i ricordi che hai lasciato stanno lì Immagini di un tempo che ora più non è Vorrei guardarle ancora mai così mm, Adesso che Davanti alla tua porta non ci sei Volata verso il cielo dei miei ma Se avessi un paio d'ali ti vedrei Sono solo quattro mubi a parlare di noi Ancora la chitarra dirà poi Se quando nel mio letto Guardandomi Volevi innamorarti o uccidermi
Well, 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 that was adesso che. Um, I need to check something. There's something in the audio that I don't particularly like and I don't understand what it is. I'm not sure if it's iTunes or the actual mixer. I don't know. There's something. Mm, something doesn't convince me, but it's okay. No worries. We'll keep listening. In the meantime, as you can see, we have first officer Molly uh, studying the charts for uh, Innsbruck. You can see it's a very intensive job. Uh, she requires a lot of focus and concentration and uh, and that's and that's you know that's the way we do here we can try and do an orbital view an orbit view what do you think uh, yeah it's very busy isn't it she's very busy like uh, charts are very difficult to read especially for innsbruck there's a lot of procedures to take care in uh, to, to take care of uh we're maybe gonna do the circling approach so you know hello subsonic how are you welcome aboard Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing a little flight, uh, taking our lovely mud dog. We have two dogs tonight. The one we're flying and the one starting the chart, waiting for, uh, you know, instructing us on uh, how to approach and land. Laminar brief, oh yes, <laughs> laminar brief cruise. Look at that, it's beautiful. Yes, and also in 20 minutes, we will uh, listen to and watch what the what lamina research has to do shoot for the church then hope you get the turn right exactly that's the idea well i would first say hope for the weather first because if there's fog or whatever it's probably gonna be the ils but uh, yeah <laughs> grazie winter eh si sì, molly molly e qualcos'altro I'm trying to make the image a little brighter. I can't. Let's see if I can do it. Um, why? How can I close this shit? I can't. Okay. Fair enough. So, is there a way to make the webcam brighter? Um, I don't know. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, video format, color space, color range. Nah, it's all fine. It's all fine. I don't have any settings. Maybe a filter I can apply, but I don't think I want. Let's see. Effect filters. Audio video. Oh, she's dreaming. Look. Can you see the paw moving? <laughs> she's dreaming. No, not this one. Maybe this one. Um, color key, color correction. Yeah, this one maybe. Look, 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 look. She's she's dreaming. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Big uh, as big as the plane, more or less. You can announce what they announce. Sì, esatto. Chissà cosa sogna. Sì. Ho sogna delle lepri, dei conigli, probabilmente dei conigli, dei gatti, dei topi, le cose che vede praticamente ogni giorno quando andiamo al parco. Oppure della pappa, sicuro. Un pede, oh my god, look who's back. Hello, hello sir, how are you doing? Good to see you, good to see you my friend, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello sir. Oh man, long time no see. Must be like ages. Welcome, welcome aboard, sir. How's it going? Oh wow, wow, Frungi giving the tier one three months to Subsonic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frungi. Jesus Christ, I I shall I shall send you a keg of Guinness your way immediately. Uh, Felicia, please send a cart of Guinness to Frungi immediately. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, man. Subsonic, welcome aboard. You're now part uh, of the lovely crew, the crazy crew of Yolo Air. 
you can now use the most uh, beloved, uh, beloved and the most looked for icons, emotes uh, across the entire Twitch universe. Welcome aboard, sir. Thanks again, Frungi. Umpede, good to know, man. Good to know. I'm glad to hear, man. So tonight we're taking a little flight uh, to Innsbruck. Oh, look, look, look. And uh, we have another sound. Jeez. Hey, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Heavy weather. Subscribing with a tier one for three months. Thank you so very much, heavy weather. Grazie mille, caro. Troppo gentili. Gra grazie, ragazzi. Thank you so very much, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Frungi flexing all those emotes and that little, uh, you know, the, the, the number one, the number one sign. That's nice. Thanks again, guys. That really means a lot to me, especially now. As you know, we've been living more than a year in uh, where where things weren't too easy financially. And uh, I have to say that uh, anything, any little help, of course, um, goes to make the stream better and better and hopefully more and more frequent. Uh, but for sure, yes, that, that I really do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, we're uh, easily covering uh, Navigraph, of course, and covering all of the things that we will, uh, at some point, uh, purchase and show you. Finalmente sono in crociera, che fatica, non avevo ancora provato il Gran Caravan. Oh, è bello il Gran Caravan, mi piace. That should get you a pint of Guinness, maybe two. Thank you, man. Well, no, I like to think uh, maybe an airport or a plane, you know to see there's so many things we have to try guys and maybe as we used to do in the past we can uh, uh, we can maybe show you something that uh, you are thinking to buy and uh, after looking at it maybe you won't anymore but yeah world tour hype yes of course you know more airports sceneries maybe i don't know like i'm not really the kind of that spends on sceneries, so I, I prefer spending on planes. Um, there's a 146 I'd like to get uh, at some point. I really do like, but I'm hearing not not beautiful things about it. So once again, uh, I may need to think about it. But yeah, but once again, thank you guys. Thank you for the support. That really that really helps. So back to the music, uh, guys. Once again, uh, I don't know. Maybe you pay the doesn't know but um, or may know you should know you should know Peter. but anyway as you as everybody knows we just released our first album created after so many after more than a year of work during the pandemic and um, and after more or less 25 years of thinking about it so I'm gonna play a few songs from the album guys you can type exclamation mark album in chat and get the smart link that takes everywhere spotify itunes you can either stream it listen only or even purchase both the digital and physical version if you if you still have a cd player you can uh, purchase a lovely cine uh, cd with a 10 pages booklet uh, carefully selected by ourselves and with some uh, lovely pictures by uh, lovely paintings by our friend jolly who's also a good friend of the channel Thank you, Pede. Thank you so much, man. So I'm going to play, guys, a few songs, uh, trying to take advantage of the lovely views, maybe. We're again uh, going over Italy. We're basically crossing Italy on the long way towards the north. Um, and I believe we should be approximately over Umbria, like the region. So Apennines, lots of mountains, lovely places, lovely food, and I believe some of the most beautiful wines you can find in Italy are actually down there, down below there where you're watching now. It's quite amazing. So anyway, guys, thanks again for the subs. I will leave you with a bit of uh, songs, with a couple of songs from our album. The next one coming up is... Oh, Solitudine e Pazzia. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll uh, see you back in a few minutes. If they don't announce on weather, I can still jump without you. Yes. 12 minutes, guys. 12 minutes to the panel. We're going to tune in and listen to what uh, Austin has to say in a while, in, in, uh, in, more, in a little more than 10 minutes. Io sono su Ponza. Beh, sei vicino, dai, non sei troppo lontano. 
you're about uh, 100 miles maybe or more. Anyway, guys, enjoy the music. I'll uh, catch you in a few. Oh my god. May ship love. Oh my god, sorry. No, no, no. I have to stop this. Nerdrage. Thank you. Oh my god, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. 51 months, man. I mean, 51 months. Are you crazy? Are you joking? How many years is that? It's like, I don't know, 500 years must be. Man, thank you, Nerdrage. You, like, if we ever meet, and I know we will at some point, I, I owe you, man, I owe you like I don't know, 10 liters of beer minimum, okay? So we'll make sure to meet in Germany. <laughs> I think it's better. <laughs> uh, and somewhere in Germany. Oh, man, thank you so much. Thank you, Nedrej. And um, again, this song is especially dedicated to you for, uh, to thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy the next few songs from our album. Thanks again, man. ai colori laceranti con le forme d'acqua e fuoco come nebbia tra giganti tu nell'animo che ruppe questa guerra nucleare fin dal primo istante accesa senza mai poter scoppiare Dolci come quelle ore, belle più dal covaleno, solitudine scappava, rimanendo giochi e cani, assai divertito io, dal mio cuore ormai sereno, con piacere ma E silenzio interrogato, la ragione soffuscava e la nebbia nel calare, la pazzia mi annunciava, affamato della vita, divoravo brevi carte, raccogliendo pochi istanti. Morti già nella mia mente Qualche ora sufficiente Può portare il cuore a casa Bentornato a lui bastò E di colpo torno in posa Dove il sole risecchiava Tu pazzia che saluto Solito in arrivo per non respirare più
and there's more guys there's more coming i hope you're enjoying and uh, at this point uh, we are let's have a look inside if everything is going okay and then we'll we'll go back a little i wanna play a little uh, more songs of course and uh, because let's be honest we need to promote dude dude push the button man oh ravenna nice okay so we're in the adriatic coast north adriatic coast very very nice place a lovely one of my favorite places for the seaside close not too far from where i live and uh, not the very best sea let not the very best water really but uh, uh, lovely places lovely people so we're going to cross this little bit of sea and then enter from uh, um, yeah the north uh, eastern regions of italy towards the um, towards innsbruck to austria yeah the first officer i don't know how are you first officer all good Ciao. <laughs> yeah she's not reacting much huh? <laughs> yeah as you can see she's studying heavily okay there's a lot to go through tonight guys there's a lot to go through <laughs> anyway five minutes uh, so one song and then we'll try and tune in uh, austin and the group uh, and the gang uh, and see what they have to say okay guys last song uh, which is uh, another beautiful one dolce carezza for you only by yolo air <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Dammi un respiro, perché sto morendo, sai? Spegni quella luce che distrugge i sogni miei Prendimi con te lì dentro un'anima, noi due Toccami, ti prego, non fermarti adesso che Ti guardo e penso, questo amore non mi basta mai Sperando che l'Eterno sia il presente tra di noi Che stupida la gente ci voleva separare Non sa tutte le guerre che ho dovuto attraversare
okay guys yeah the md80 is the most amazing plane really one of the most beautiful ones for sure okay so we do have uh, the video started here this is starting but uh, they're not talking yet so we will wait we will give some volume don't worry because then i'm going to put the x plane low enough so we can listen to the rest using the windows mixer look at that technology guys tonight technology overload so let's see where we are we are definitely over venezia that's venice uh, to the left okay yeah that's the laguna veneta beautiful and uh, we are 80 miles 90 miles from uh, top of the sand there's some interesting wind 20 knots uh, completely cross uh, nobody is talking yet uh, here so we'll uh, we'll keep an eye anyway i'll keep an eye and then as soon as they start talking we'll uh, we'll tune in guys see what they have to say who knows and yeah everything is uh, going well here guys on the plane a little more volume for now yeah nice so if we take a look at our descent uh, it's going to be super easy let's have a look a better look actually let's go plan mode and take a better look at how we are mi sa che non è venuto fuori un avviso oddio dove let's have a look legs next next oh Oh, step, sorry. So, Rattenberg, okay, no, the usual one, okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. And then we tune in, basically, we take the ILS uh, oil bot. All oh, right. <laughs> Taking a nap before, that, but yes. Ah, può essere, può essere. Che avviso doveva essere? Anyway, yeah, the, this is looking good, so we're, we're okay, I'm okay with it. Um... There's no weather to look for, like, to be uh, concerned about, I think, so far. There's no particularly bad weather. Um, All righty. Well, it's oh. not a big surprise that the room is basically completely full here. I can't imagine can what's going to Can you hear? Next. I think there's some kind of an announcement or something like that. So in typical form, I'm just going to totally we'll listen interject in the meantime, and okay? interrupt that announcement with an advertisement, because that's what I do. Okay, so for the advertisements, we can uh, mute. Yeah, they're, they're basically showing the x crafts. Well, we can take a look, maybe. Capturing in real time. I don't like the... Because they put always this... Idiotic music. It's like, you know, diffusing a nuclear bomb every time. The fuck, or winning the Second World War. You just made a plane, dude. I mean, the fuck. <laughs> yeah, meh. I don't know. Do we care? Do we like it? Champing a lot in Erdrage. You like it, right? Here I am, dissing everything, and uh, he loves the plane. <laughs> it's an Embraer. Well, yeah, he has Molly Yoke. We have a bit of flapping though there, huh? a little flappage that I'm not sure I like. We're just blaming the FPS for taking the video, like the it was recorded probably at 20 FPS, I don't know. But look, they have the entire family, which is pretty good, I have to of say. Of course, if you were here this morning, you already saw that, and if you weren't, then that was the first time I fly this airplane for work, Seven so carots. that looks like ah. an absolutely amazing add-on. Hopefully, what you're about to hear doesn't change anything that x -Crafts is planning with that. Uh, that's about oh, all shit. I have to say. My name is Just Evan, fired already. Jeez. Association. We <laughs> put this show on. For those of you who are watching quick. on our online platform, a huge Fucking thank you to you for doing that. I will try to get some of your questions in. In the room, of course. Okay, we guys, we need to prepare minutes. our descent here. But for now, here. I'm just going to get out of the way. What's really exciting about this presentation is that Laminar Research has done what we've always asked developers to do. And that is oh, we lost the top of give descent. give you some okay. really, really cool news. So, Thompson, I'm going to leave it to you and the team to give these people something that is really impressive. Please welcome Thompson from X-Plane. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start a gentle descent. First of all, we will... Uh, 
do this, guys. Reduce a bit and then start a little. Oh, wait, there's a video playing here. Are we looking at the maximum? No. Okay, sorry. All right. Check that out, baby. He press a button and boom. Nice. Oops. New trees, baby. Look at that. Again, I would take care of the FPS a little more, to be honest, guys, when you record. But maybe it's me. Yes. Yeah, baby. Bring it on. F14, dude. Nice. It doesn't get any close to DCS, but it, it's good. We like it. Or maybe a little close. Nice. I think the DCS one still looks a little better exterior wise. But then again, this is X Plane, so. Yes. Oh, finally. Looking good for a default, yeah. Explain 12. So they were saying next generation, but in the end, it's number 12. Wait a second, we start descending here, guys. It's good. I like it. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Thompson Meeks, and I've been flying X-Plane since I was about this big. It's changed quite a bit since then, though, and we're really excited to show oh what our team has been working on since then. We just saw an awesome new F-14 Tomcat that will be uh, default in X-Plane 12. We're super thrilled with all of the work Slow and down. dedication that our art team has put into that, and it's really a joy to fly. Up next, we have some videos from our development team. What they will do is show you a little bit of the, what they've been working on for X-Plane 12, and then okay. they'll go That's a little deeper and tell you why it matters how it adds to the immersion of X-Plane, how third-party developers can leverage this to make their products better, and what X-Plane 12 will look like. Afterwards, we'll have time for a short Q&A. So, let's get started. Press the button, man. Push the button. Hey there. So, Austin. I've been trapped in my office I think so, Evie. Uh, see, best to see. But the upside is I have gotten a lot done. I've overhauled literally hundreds of systems inside. In Austin, we believe, guys. But in Austin, we trust. But what I want to tell you about right now is the real weather system. So, as you probably already know, with X Plane Ooh, 11, you can set the this weather with little sliders and whatnot, and you can check a box to download real weather. And when you download the real this weather, what X Plane 11 does is it downloads maybe a thousand or two thousand METARs. Now, a METAR is a weather report Meteor. that is given at an airport. A METAR. It's actual observed conditions at that moment. But when you think about it, this technology has a little bit of a limit, doesn't it? It only knows it does, the Austin, it does, right for near sake. the airport. It's not actually a global image. And it doesn't really change in time in any sort of an organized we know, way. Austin. It's just a new report every now and again. And yep. so when you base a real weather that's system on METAR reports, you're going to have weather that's inherently local in space and locked in time. Is that really the best we can do? I wanted to kick it up a notch. For X Plane 12, yeah, baby. I wanted to have weather that could work anywhere in the world and change smoothly over time. Is it possible? It turns out the answer is yes. Oh, thanks, so Buck. I wrote another <laughs> program called Xavion. Xavion is an iPad app that I use in the cockpit of my actual airplane. I'm gonna shave a few kilos there, Austin. Huh? And what this app does? We all done it. Don't worry. You're not the only one. Really anywhere in grab weather and download something called GRIB files from the National Ocean oh, Administration. Right. 
Now, here's what a grid file is. It I is know what a grid file is. It is a global grid that surrounds the entire planet Earth, listing the weather that is some... computed. Spoil. Shit. Sorry. Shit. Come on. It's not just limited to areas Oof. around airports. Sorry. And because it's a computer-generated forecast, it can also go out forward in time. So, the NOAA GRIB model Ooh. allows global weather that covers all of space around the Earth and all of time as it moves Jeez. forward in its forecast. These two things together allow weather that can vary smoothly no matter when or where you go. So, we take a look here at this NOAA GRIB model that has been imported yeah, fucking from finally, man. into X-Plane 12. And this is a cloud cover model. There's a million data points in the model. You're seeing about a quarter of that here. But when I got this data, I said, you know what? It's still not quite high resolution enough. I wanted blend in the METAR reports so I get information oh, all, from observed okay. reports as well. So here's what happens oh, when X-Plane starts with the GRIB model, which is the low frequency oh, data, shit. and then interpolates to METARs wherever weather is actually reported. This gives a okay. global forecast with high resolution detail near the airports. It's combining the best of both worlds. Wow. So, Nice. We have a model that covers all of space and time. We also have detail while darts of the mathematical force force and I like this. And then blends the actual Let's take a look at the This is nice. I like it. Well done. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> well done. Nicely done, Austin. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> I love so this, this shit. Weather model brings as well, well done, sir. Well done. Model to bear an X -plane Rubber well. pesant. Rubber and born. If you survive a flight in icing an X plane, then you'll have some sort of an idea of what nature has in store for you in the real airplane. So when you put it all together, <laughs> it's a pretty nice little weather model. And now we're going to go to Ben. <laughs> and the man is watching my stream, yeah. <laughs> a little. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. How do we draw clouds? Oh, Ben. We used to use these billboards. Our artists would draw a beautiful cloud and we would draw it up in the sky on a rectangle. From far away, it looked okay, but when you flew close to them, you could tell they were flat. To make the clouds look 3D, we had to draw a lot of billboards and that killed frame rate. Yep. So for X-Plane 12, we completely rewrote the cloud renderer. Explain 12's clouds are volumetric. Shit, Here's wait, wait, wait. How it works. The weather engine Oof. sends 3D Ooh. cloud Ooh. information to your graphics card. Shaders then trace a path through the cloud, calculating the interaction of the water droplets in the cloud with light rays from the sun. It's viral, basically. This is what makes a cloud look like a cloud. This process of tracing a path yeah, through the cloud Yeah, goes away. It's exactly marching. the same. Ray marching has several advantages. We don't have to draw any of those square billboards, so ray marching uses your graphics card more efficiently. With ray marching, the clouds look good from any camera position. Outside the clouds, inside the clouds, or right on the edge. We don't have to fill the screen with white or gray when you fly into the soup. So the transition into and out of IFR is seamless and looks good under all conditions. Nice. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Let me we show you one more thing. We got an uh, in X Plane 12. A preview. We upgraded the scenery engine to show the effects of weather as well. So look X Plane we are 12 here. scenery engine can that's show okay. puddles on the ground and snow dynamically. The puddles oh, are nice. reflective, and when it's raining, they show water droplets. Molly, <laughs> what 
Wow, that's nice. Scenery authors could specify where they want these effects with a simple weather mask that shows where snow and ice might occur in their scenery, then explain dynamically as these effects. Well, well, well. Check these out. Okay, we got Librain by Libre default. Librain has had a huge impact on X-Plane 11. It's a third-party plugin that adds dynamic rain effects to the glass of third-party aircraft. Thank you, Toto. But Librain's impact is bigger because Librain is open source and Sazo has helped us integrate Librain directly into X-Plane 12. X-Plane 12 simulates millions of raindrops on your graphics card. Now, here's the cool thing. X-Plane already knows a ton about what's oh, happening the droplets, with your aircraft nice. because of our flight model. The flight model knows about prop wash and jet wash and down wash, and it knows about wind shadow, where wind hits one side of the aircraft but can't hit the other. I think this is also working for X-Plane then? Feeds it to I don't know. Card yeah, also, also the evolution, yeah. Glass more realistic. Once the graphics card has simulated what the raindrops do, we can draw a view out the window where the raindrops refract the light Giving you a realistic That's very view nice. It could be Toto behind this. The 330, okay, maybe. Okay, wait. The X Plane Heavy Metal Hanger has had one constant for as long as I Guys, um, we're Every about to crash here. Wait. We no, we're not. Centered around traditional crank and pulley flight controls. As such, you can throw I need these the around the sky ILS. without as much reckless. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy here wish. for a second. Wait a second here, guys. Maintenance complained, so we had to put a stop to that. And now, introducing a first for us, a fully fly-by-wire Airbus. Oh my god. Oh my the god. The A330 leverages one, one, the one, one, amazing one. Airbus flight one, control one, 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 one. system that Austin has developed natively for X-Plane. The system respects all of the Two, normal law limitations. The computers won't let you pull excessive G, overbank, pitch up or down all right. too much. Lights on. And will save you when you get going too slow or too fast. I will say Alpha 4 protection surprised me the first time I experienced it as well. It is an entirely different flight experience to put your airplane to a specific attitude and just let go. It stays there. Coupled with Am the I gonna crash here, guys? system, which allows for all Am I too thrust low already here? To Toga Could be, flex, yeah. maximum continuous thrust, and climb thrust. The A330 behaves just like an Airbus should. And of course, the 330 works out of the box. With Is this a bad move? Wait a second. To enhance the experience. I think it's so. Like I think it's bad. Beyond the bad. physical model of the aircraft, the generously appointed cabin with the meticulously modeled cockpit and the lovingly crafted exterior, we have taken strides in the simulation of aircraft systems. 15,000 nanites, for fuck's sake. Examples, yes, examples. The hydraulics system now simulates every single pump, okay. all seven of them on three different okay, systems. Okay, sorry, I had to climb, guys. Green sorry. Or blue or yellow. This is all easily set up in Flight Maker. Okay. Flight Maker Oof. also allows for each control surface to be set up to operate from a specific hydraulic yeah, source. Yeah, vero. <laughs> the elevators, for example, both utilize the green, green clean speed anyway. Don't worry. Left elevator also uses the blue. And the right elevator uses the yellow system as its Low terrain, yes. Failure in these systems oh, actually, we'd manifest we'd as you. control Interest. surface losses. Exactly okay, that's fine. as you expect. The ECAM warning guidance system. Oops, we got a little close. So anyway, they're talking about this uh, 330. Any sort of failure, the ECAM system recognizes the failure and provides a checklist. He has the ECAM, blah, blah, blah. Situations. ECAM also manages the secondary display page. That's the, the bottom DU underneath the primary. When you start the APU, What's the, Q &A the APU here? page turns on. When you start the engines, engine page displays. And after takeoff and throughout the bulk of the remainder of your flight, you're left with the cruise page. Okay, so we got to when see... Approach, however, we got to see the best already, guys, here. Feet to get I mean, okay, the 330 is probably hopefully better than JAR. Rattenberg, exactly, yeah. I know Rattenberg should be 9,500, not go below 14, 12, 200 before clear of terrain, yeah. Yeah, exactly. After these peaks, then we can descend. Yeah, it was definitely way too low. Read the charts, baby. Read the chart. They help. They're there for a reason. Airbus ready to be Z, but yes, exactly. Quasi su Venezia, nice. Bello, bene, bene. Okay.
Okay, so that's good enough. We're doing things that we've never done before, and we hope that it shows. Hi, I'm Daniela Rodriguez Jarez. Sounds. I've been in charge of the sound design on X Plane since 1219. We have been working on some other fun new sound developments. In addition to the new aircraft, we we'll listen full only, yeah? Because I need to focus here, guys. We also have some other things to share. Speed brakes arm. Oh, come on. Here we go. I'm sorry. Come on. Sounds that you will expect of the living world around you. Oh, nice. You can now hear the sounds of the sea. Yeah, she's good. Through the city. Hello, I met. Oh, man. Welcome. Welcome back. And How are you? Birds and crickets in the wild. Oh, finally, sounds from other shit. Nice. The birds, the birds chirping, very nice, I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be good, guys. It's going to be good. We don't know about the terrain, is it Orto? Do they, did they build, did they build in Orto? All these sounds react First officer to the real world variable, <laughs> changing ah, with the time of the day, temperature, and speed, and direction of the wind. Yeah, not so much. Here is his positioning, exactly. Man, this is good. I might have been good, man. Thank you. The soundscape of weather in x -Plane has been redundant. That means that now you have realistic sounds of rain, hail, and wind. Well, this is the old uh, this sounds weather. Interact with the ambience. Is this the new so weather already? The new clouds? Everything mm. will sound muffled. Or when it's raining, the cars on the road will sound different, more wet. Mm, nice. The thunder effects have been a great, and we are using many different recordings for variety, distance, and intensity. These ambient sounds interact automatically with all the Okay, so now we keep this aircraft. altitude. Both from laminar and third parts. And we're gonna set uh, 9,500. There is nothing you need to do to enable them. They will just Select. work on the exterior process environment channel and they will respond to your aircraft insulation characteristics as you model them. Nice. Airport sound, finally, nice. Wow, so many news, guys. Looks like it's going to be good. All ground service vehicles have been upgraded. Oh, we have people finally. No more demonic driven uh, <laughs> vehicles. No more demons, unfortunately. End of an era, guys. No more demon vehicles. Okay, we need to go down now. And class is better than bad ortho and full global order. Not really something I'm not going to True. Very true. Though. Let's go clean speed here. And then we have 11110 already set. Good. Now the jetways are animated, they make sound when moving to. Is this the Zebo? Nice. We also have real people to drive the vehicles now. Finally, yeah. That's nice. That's a nice start, actually. Uh, not, not you, sir. FMOD 2 support. That's also good. We're going towards uh, Rattenberg, okay? Explain now supports FMOD 2.0. We upgraded the sound engine, and now all goodies from this new version of FMOD are available to our community of developers. End users might not notice an immediate difference, but it will make life easier for all your favorite sound designers. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy the new sound environment on x 12. Very nice. x has an absolute advantage when it comes to figuring out how an aircraft will fly. 
that but it's that's only part of flight simulation. Keep listening. Visuals matter, whether you're flying a real aircraft or a simulated aircraft. So today, we'd like to share five things we've done to improve what you see out the window in X-Plane 12. What's Trees the are everywhere, and they make a huge visual impact, whether you're flying over urban areas or out in the wilderness. X-Plane 12 features a brand new 3D forest engine. Oh, here we go. Up close, trees We're are going to use 3D. The far 40. view consists of billboards and the graphics card dissolves between them. Thanks okay. to Metal and Vulcan, the entire forest engine runs on the graphics card for blazing fast frame rates. X-Plane 12's trees are animated and they sway and move in the wind. The amount of movement varies by tree species. Airport scenery. Man, what should I do? The airport environment is the part of the world you see. Guys, we're gonna shoot this. Several improvements to airports. We need to shoot these approach, guys. We we'll keep listening to this guy anyway. Markings are placed precisely and based on FAA and ICAO guidelines. That's okay. We're gonna slow down to we 220, get some flaps, at least some slots on. Like Actually, 210. Adjusted for factors like air fuel gauge, okay, 9,500. Check. Plane 12 supports dynamic jet waste and add an extra layer. Nice, then I mean jet waste. You can call for a jetway via the ground services menu. X Plane 12 also features a control tower kit, a lot of control tower objects that authors can use to add detail to airports on the X Plane scenery gateway. Authors can control the style and the height of the control tower that allows artists to really, really capture the look and feel of nearly any tower around. Seasons. I used to live in San Diego, and it was summer pretty much. Cool landing, flight. not sure, man. Every single day was not warm, sure. sunny, and clear skies. Better now, generic like airport, yes, airport which is nice. Up until now, because in X-Plane 12, seasons are a first-class part of the X-Plane 12 scenery system. Oh, wow, that's nice. Look at that, that's very nice. Fall. First we start with data. Nice. We climate and okay, now data. we can so go we heading mode. Where the seasons change. Towards the fall intercept, fall. I think. It doesn't become fall at the same time everywhere. It depends on yeah, climate, 210, it depends yeah. on latitude, and it can depend on elevation. We encode when the seasons change into our scenery files. Center, fuel tanks, okay. Okay, now we wait for the, the localizer basically. The leaves taken off the trees in the winter, we should get in the we should be getting the visual the localizer soon. Autogen scenery. Oh wow. Explain nice. 12's autogen has been rebuilt from newer data with better sources to add more local detail. We import data from OpenStreetMaps, NASA, ESA, nice. and other data sources to build a digital model of the world, which explain then populates with trees, buildings, roads, etc. The placement of visually important Max is easier. Okay. Buildings, industrial areas, civic and commercial spaces has also been greatly improved. All of this adds to the plausibility of the explain world. We've also, as is tradition, have made leaps in the size. No localizer. I know it's a late localizer in this case. I know it's pretty now late in the new group. Sports features. But it's not coming those up. One 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 zero. Stadiums. Yeah. Those golf courses that you fly over on approach. Ah, nice. That looks much better. We also now have a large library of lighthouses. We also have city parks. Nice. Parts. Wait, Even I need to wait for my localizer here, baby. One of the most consequential Why is he not there? Is the inclusion of seaports and ships. Oh, there you go. Large uh, for lock. For now. Without lock is armed. It. Yes. And ILS, because we should have a glide slope as well. Yes, we do. And the water engine has got a huge upgrade in x 12. In X-12, the water waves are 3D. Oh, Not finally. You interact with the waves with the physics engine when you land on the water, but you can We're about see to go down here, guys. Before you land on it. Oh, finally. The water waves are affected by the wind speed and weather conditions, but also by the type of water. We have large waves We're going down. in the ocean and Slow down. waves in rivers and lakes. In X-12, the entire water simulation has moved to the graphics card. The graphics card simulates the water conditions ahead of time nice. and sends them to the CPU so the flight model can interact with that water data accurately. This is the first 
time we've ever done something that runs on the graphics card first, and then the CPU, and it's made possible by right. moving to metal and Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan Besides then, okay. Waves, Vulcan only. I guess. Water, and no, it can't be Vulcan only. Now know the color of the water you're flying over. This is a huge improvement for flying Shader magic products. again, yes. We need to break a 3100, I think, for the circle to land. Or 400. Oh, he had a baby! G will control us. Looks amazing, dude. So you can build yourself a cockpit with two sets of yokes. Sets of pedals connected to nice. the same computer and shall explain these are the controls for the pilot, these are the controls. We're gonna take it very slow here, explain, guys. We'll figure out but we're, uh, we're going nicely. Inputs. And now that you have independent control inputs for the pilot side and the co pilot side, you can deal with all kinds of control failures. Mm. For example, you can jam the right aileron, then the yoke is locked in place. And oh, you wow, can nice. If you jump now, you must see the splash. Yes, you, you will. Now is you can split the torque link between the pilot and the co-pilot, and then the pilot will still be able to I think three, four the is. on the left wing while three, the right side is be. jammed. And this way, the pilot can essentially fly the left half of the aircraft if there's some kind of failure in the right half of the controls. Hydraulics. Okay, so more systems. Another system we have improved for the next generation of X-Plane are the hydraulic flight controls and the hydraulic systems that power them. Now, what do we do with this hydraulic power? Well, we can power every single control surface and every wing, which can be individually assigned any combination of hydraulic sources. So you can say on the left wing, the inboard aileron is powered by systems two and three. Mm. And on the right wing, the outboard roll spoiler is powered by system one. So any combination is possible. And whenever a hydraulic system fails, you are, you, you are going to lose selective control surfaces on the wings. Mm. The fleet of the next generation of X-Plane comes with a few new cockpit Problem features. is, I don't have the church here, um, so I'm hoping the, the Ortho 4 XP overlays has it. Symbology and text for the navigational display, and of course, this can be used on other aircraft as well. It's not limited to our 737. As you've seen earlier, we have a Cirrus SR22 in x right now, and of course, it has a GCU keyboard controller that um, makes the interaction with the G1000 a lot easier. And finally, the last addition to the default fleet that I'm going to show you, we have a new citation. Oh, I need to set my ADF 420. with its own digital flight Do I have it? 420, uh, yes. on the Honeywell uh, Primus uh, avionics. Uh, the Primus FMZ joins the uh, okay. Collins FMS that we have as a new FMS okay, we do have the ADF and, uh, and the VOR uh, should be. Hello, my name is Jim Keir. I'm new to the X Plane team this one, year. One, one, one. And for those yeah. sins, I've been condemned to work on the air traffic control systems. If we're serious about providing a full realistic simulation environment, then air traffic control really. Il separatore inerziale è quello che ti permette è un bypass che permette di evitare che ghiaccio o uccelli finiscano nel motore. And generally polishing the air traffic control system. The first so, keep the heading changes is that there is now a single air traffic control dialogue containing all of the air traffic control functions. Okay, vertical speed. The first tab Select 34. I think it's 34, I believe. To the top 175. Of the and you can scroll that, you can pause it, and you can filter Prego, it. Struzo. Beneath that is the command window. The next tab we so have we need to break. Uh, oh, we can see that. Okay, 4.2. And we need to break to 23037. The flight information and flight plan dialogue. This dialogue can be set to work in several different ways. It tries to remain visible when you need it, but to hide itself when you don't need it. It's a new Attitude hold, window, perfect. Flaps. Okay, guys, I need to. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to focus on this landing, dude. So it's going to be 2 3. So instead of having a single button which is using single command, you can refine what you're asking the air traffic controls. 
Oh, we're a bit late on the turn. Okay. 3-7, past Innsbruck, past the ADF. Okay, and we're gonna go manual very soon. Speed is okay. Wow, it's, it's rocking a bit. Alright. Then 264, when we are basically behind the ADF. We need to wait until we are behind and get uh, 264, basically west. Okay, and then uh, there should be a visual reference there, hopefully. Okay, there's people of the balloon over there. We are almost there. Yeah, no. Six, four. The next key feature for X Play 12 is that the ATC system is now regional. Web. Okay, guys, so the flaps are. Oh! They're 28. Jesus, okay. 160. Yeah, we're kind of getting closer here. Alright, guys, my plane. Where's the church? Uh, must be here, right? I'm gonna cheat a bit here. Not yet. Where's the church? It's the church. I don't know. Yeah, we're very... I need to... Or maybe here. Oh, maybe that one, right? That's... No, it's not a church. should be in front of it. Wasn't in here. Anyway, time to turn. Still a good bit. Yes. And now I think it's time to turn and uh, get down. My throttles. Probably gonna overshoot a bit. Gear coming down. Oh boy. That's X Plane 12. Nice. Well done, guys. I'm not sure we can make it, but we'll try. Yeah, we were a bit high, guys. Our very first goal as we prepare for a release is getting in the break. Yeah, I know. It could be a go-round. But we're not that fast. Flaps are not uh, full, but it's, uh, it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh shit! Ah fuck! Um, I didn't trim. It wasn't trimmed. Fuck! It's okay. Sorry, bit of a hard one tonight. <laughs> Aerosucker. Yes, sorry. I didn't have any authority on the elevator because I'm an idiot. And it's a long one. It's a very long one. Oh boy, yeah, that was not the best. Super Ryanair style. I didn't trim it. Mi sono dimenticato di trimmare l'aereo. E non avevo più autorità. I think the flaps, uh, even the flaps 28, uh, didn't help. And I was definitely way too slow. Basically, I was stalling the plane. Uh, apart from the trim, it was probably even too slow. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. That's okay, guys, no worries. It's okay. As we get closer into this release, though, once we're in early we're gonna access, park a bit and then think what we do next. Purchase on our website will be valid for both X Plane 11 and X Plane 12. So, for instance, so are we happy about what they're saying, guys? To X Plane on day one of early access, and you buy. I think so, right? You will get access to the V12 
Control unit Carrelli SE. I think we're due to maintenance guys here, guys. Definitely. They're gonna call us. Um, right, APU. Buonasera, fish. Come stai, povera Ryanair? We'll see. Eh, niente, è andata male questo atterrazzo. So they're doing by explain early get Oh really? Oh, okay. Did they didn't yeah, they do so that already? Yes, I think so, right? Has been working dil diligently on a new helicopter. I think I'm going to leave that oh. one as a surprise though. I think it will make everyone really happy. Okay. If you say so. All right. Hi, Doug Blake from Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. I am what is uh, doing? wondering if you, since there's a, a new product coming out now. Oh boy, Jesus. Okay, uh, parking brake. We're gonna remove this guy. What is he doing? Okay, and... Off, sure, off, that's a great off. question. That falls into the category of things. They did that, that with XP. Okay, on, okay. They were super eager to have in the sim. But if that you not be a on, feature. yeah, so off the like engine. Just like in X-Plane 11, there were intermediate versions that brought all sorts of new things. Um, we talked about those. Well, welcome to Innsbruck, where the landing was not really nice. So that's the kind of thing that we plan to see later on uh, in X-Plane 11. So let's see, what did they say here? All right. Question. Question and answers. Do a aerial photography with drones for my students. Um, do you have? I understood. I believe your timeline. Can you put any dates? To that? <laughs> Just a little firmer. You know that's don't, a great question. Don't. No, I don't have dates for you. Basically, <laughs> when we think about X Plane, we want it to be the most enjoyable simulation experience that you can buy no, don't, anywhere. Don't, don't, don't and push we're willing it, to take the time and put in the work to make sure that's the case. So on those grounds, no dates yet. <laughs> we'll be sure to share them on our uh, social media when we do. I have a question here from XP72. Okay. Uh, XP72 here, uh, YouTube streamer. I'm so excited for what I've seen so, seen so far. Okay, okay. One quick question I didn't see, maybe I missed it. Are you guys working on any, anything like, I saw the rain effect, beautiful. What about snow as part of the season? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we actually consider snow, rain, and ice accumulation to be more of a weather effect than a season effect. You know, when you fly around uh, in real life during the winter, not every piece of ground is snowy all the time. So that, just that level of integration wasn't enough for us. So like Ben talked about, we're doing a lot with shaders that enable us to move that kind of work to the graphics card. So for instance, after and during a snowstorm, when you're flying around, there will, might be a little bit of snow on the ground, and then as it's been snowing for more and more time, that shader will add more accumulation oh, nice. to the ground. Shader magic, yeah, it's effect. basically shader so, magic. So yes, you'll see lots of that. Which Icing, is good. rain, and snow. We got Gene from SoCal over here. All right. Go, Gene. Hi, Gene Anderson, part of the local SIM group here in San Diego. Um, we are dedicated to explain because of Zebo. I'd like to hijack this section and talk about three hours just about the standards <laughs> of Zebo. Um, where does Zebo sit in your whole repertoire? I mean, do you invite Lubo Zebek over for dinner every night? Because <laughs> you know, I think he is one over so much loyalty to explain because of the fidelity of the Oh my god. And, He's uh, wanking off this I guy. I think Pat Fuge would, would agree. We take the time to get some brave. <laughs> That's a great question. I have yeah. never met Zebo in person, but he's always welcome at my house for dinner. I'd love to get to know him better. Um, so yeah, the bottom line is that the work like Zebo has done is absolutely brilliant. We welcome that, and we think that it's a really good demonstration of how open the Xplain ecosystem is to a whole range of third-party developers. Either if you want to make those FMOD sound packs for aircraft like Daniela was talking about, or upgrade mm -hmm. uh, aircraft systems in other ways, um, that's really part of what we think makes X Plane great. I'm going to take an online question. But Zebo would, wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for that. So. Uh, live stream we did with you as well. Talk about backwards compatibility. What's going to happen to stuff that works in X Plane 11 right now? Will it work in X Plane 12? Yeah, so that's always uh, another thing that we really look 
towards as we're approaching a new version. We don't want to break things for everyone. Okay, so compatibility. So we expect things to work well rolling nice. forward to X-Plane 12. There may be some features that won't work exactly out of the box, and that's why we're very interested in doing the developer early access mm. to really let them iron out, iron out any of those concerns before the public at large mm. gets a hold of it. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. Hi, uh, Simi Peter from YouTube. Uh, I just had one question. The A330 looks absolutely brilliant, but what about custom FMS? Do we have it? Good question. That's not been modeled yet, but like Alex said, we're going way deeper um, in the A330 than we have before in airliners. <laughs> For a long That's time, nice. our default 737 oh, is kind of the Cut standard back. Thank you. of aircraft and Welcome aboard. and we've gone even further than that. So we're a bit so of a month yeah. of the XP-11 the, the first public beta. Nice, yeah. This so, question uh, from Patrick. Hmm. Hello, Pat Puge, San Diego. I got uh, my normal 30 questions. <laughs> uh, first, uh, so first world problem, uh, price point for multiple copies. Good question. We've not gotten far enough into the, the sales November process yeah. to really nail all of that down, Possibly. but uh, we'll be sure to share it when we Possibly. do. Possibly. Okay, uh, second question. Uh, the new dynamic jetways versus SAM. Okay. Can you expand on that? Yeah, so I don't um, really want to compare one to the other. With all of the things on the gateway, what we've done is really tried to make it accessible to all artists and make it a seamless experience. So you saw in the yeah. ground services you gotta window, give it to them just like that the, the whole gateway airport scenery, or baggage card, you like, just click it, they it will got attach it right to your aircraft the beginning. based on the door parameters that the author has set, and it's super easy. So. Uh, Last question, what flight level should we expect to hear crickets up to? What's that? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. You know, it's really funny. I I've spent hours and hours this week and last week editing this video to the point that every time I hear crickets outside, I'm like, oh, am I editing again? <laughs> it's definitely a little disorienting. <laughs> From our live stream, can you talk about PC requirements and specifications for X-Plane 12? Yeah, for sure. So overall, we haven't set exact uh, recommended hardware specs for X-Plane 12 yet. We'd expect it to run pretty well on the current uh, typical hardware that you'd expect for a modern sim. Nate over here. Hmm. That's one of those hmm. things I that we'll really nail, nail down closer to the ship date, just like the pricing model and that kind of thing. We'll see about that, guys. Hi there. So, Kind of to uh, expand on the requirements, when it comes to Vulcan, so the would you say it, that it's making, the, uh, it's making it easier to optimize, especially considering how, um, how impressive the rain and particles look and how hard it is to get video cards nowadays? So. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So one thing that Vulcan and Metal have done for us is they've really allowed us to go deeper into the rendering and move more work over to the <laughs> GPU yeah, exactly. to better optimize it, as you were saying. So that's something that we will continue to work on. Next question is from James. Hey Go, James. Um, so you talked about autogen and weather and all of the new stuff mm, there, mm. Uh, but I didn't see anything about like ground textures and orthophotography. Obviously, mm. you can't do the same kind of online Elephant screen. in the room. Microsoft can, but is there any uh, plans for improving the default? Yeah, good question. So right now, yeah, no X-Plane's scenery engine is data-based. <laughs> um, data-based, not data-based. As Alex was talking about, we draw data from all sorts of Grand different that on, uh, places Oracle, like NASA, well. ESA, and OpenStreetMap gives us a lot of flexibility there and a lot of really rich data. Mm. So we don't see it as a all one or all the other thing. We see mm. orthophotos as just another data source that we'd love to integrate more deeply into X-Plane. I will say that we do have some new stuff on the way for um, color accuracy and that sort of thing on terrain. So yeah, you can expect to see that soon. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. Um, do you have mm. any improvements planned for VR integration and particularly with the UI? Yeah, good question. Um, so there are some things that okay, we so far we, we just had good questions. With Thank VR you. In mind, specifically, <laughs> the HTC oh, that's a very shitty that question. Thank you for about. asking. We're really happy with how that's been visually improved and optimized for VR users. 
Beyond that, we don't have any 12.0 features that will fall into that category, mm. but I would be surprised if we didn't see something like that coming soon. Mm. On our okay. live stream, Taylor is asking about Batson and other online networks. Will they continue to be compatible with X-Plane 12? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so one, another thing that we look at when okay. we're approaching a major update like this is compatibility. It is never our goal to break anyone's add-ons or make extra work for them. That's the last thing we want to do. So they will still be uh, running an X-Plane just like normal. Next question is Bruce from Savannah. Hi, yeah, Bruce from Savannah. Don't let the accent fool you. Um, you may have answered this already part in the, um, the equipment requirements, but have, have any comparison, frame rate comparisons been done between 11 and 12, you know, same aircraft, same location, same conditions? Yeah, that's a well, great that's question. That's a weird accent um, So no, we don't have any hard data on that right now, mainly because we're still in the process of integrating Sounds all like, of uh, those things Sounds like Scottish together. living in uh, uh, Once we get everything Louisiana. running together <laughs> and optimized fully, that's a, you know, a function of development time, mm. then we can start thinking a little bit more about that and uh, moving that direction. Okay. Way, way back in the left corner here. Sorry, what was that? All right. Um, hi, my name is Nate. I'm a student pilot from Atlanta. Um, but I heard some rumors, but I wanted a definite answer. What about backwards compatibility for third-party add-ons for the next plane 11? Yeah, so typically we always um, target solid backwards compatibility, and this will be um, in that same vein. So, yes, we plan on supporting our third-party artists well there. Mm. I have Eric from Well, yeah, has to. Hi, right here in the front left. Oh, uh, my, my question is uh, for the newcomers to flight simulation, is there going to be mm. flight training lessons like built into the base version of X-Plane where they can just mm. go in that's and nice. just learn the basics? That'd be nice. Flight? Yeah, that's a great question. So It is, uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to file that under yes. Except and for those still doing so 3D drawing. So X-Plane 11 <laughs> yeah, has possibly, some yeah. uh, flight yeah. training modules that we intend to expand They'd on have to in stop. the long run. There are also some things that we want to add to X-Plane to make it easier for developers to make missions and that kind of thing. Probably not a 12.0 feature, but definitely something that we see as a great um, utility. He's very enthusiastic, this guy, isn't that it? That makes sense. We've got Alex over here in the center of the room. Very happy. Okay. <laughs> hey, so uh, with the current X-Plane 11, I know for a lot of our simmers... Um, I don't know us through, so it doesn't look like, right? It doesn't look like. ...download a bunch of libraries. Where do you see the libraries in X-Plane 12? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good that's a good question. question. Yes. As far as I know, we don't have any major changes coming to that aspect of the sim. Ah, fuck. But, um, you know, we always want to make life easier for, again, yeah. oh, the it's easy now. Yeah. and the users. Just so download that's where 300 our libraries. Is, and we'll see how that filters down, mm. for sure. I'm not sure I like this uh, answer. Hi, uh, Jomar from Long Beach. Um, I got uh, three questions, if you don't mind. Okay. So my first one being is about the default jetways and uh, how, uh, is there any uh, support for, say, two jetways for at, air, uh, at sceneries for wide-body mm. aircraft? Good question. I believe mm. so. I've not gotten to try that myself, but we have all sorts of airports um, in WED already from the jetway <laughs> kit. And we've made those super yeah, easy true. to upgrade into jetways that are moving and animated. Um, and yeah, they can't go ortho so all the I way now. How that should be it's too much, unless they can stream it uh, from a cloud. Second question. Um, regarding but they the could, I mean, AWS. New runway markings have been a major feature. Uh -huh. uh, mm. This is on a more regional basis for, say, Arctic airports, such as in the North 2,200 people are nearly watching is there nice. support for, say, uh, orange uh, runway uh, markings instead of the usual white or yellow? Interesting. Mm. I've never seen an orange marked runway, but that sounds fun. Um, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that that's definitely something that our new system that's more modular um, and user-friendly for the This artists, guy must have been um, working at Apple, that for sure, guys. <laughs> support pretty easily. We'll have to see. They could make some fun deal with Google and grab Google Earth data. Yeah, I mean, they could, yeah. they could make a good deal with Amazon for the storage and the um, replication, you know, 
uh, sure. <laughs> what is it called? The S3, oh, absolutely. Something you know, like that, like or whatever it was. The S3. Flying, they were saying we're going to they just need just storage, one kind of cloud in the sky. Re uh, replication, like regional availability, and maybe a good and deal with uh, Google. Why not? I don't see. Um, as we can. So I don't see that as an impossible thing, you know. From Alex on our live stream, will there be mesh editing tools available for senior Ooh, developers? Good question. This is a good question. I'm not, I'm not sure on that. Shit. So kind of to look forward. Uh, this was our Shit. short and fast keynote for Explain 12. There's all sorts of more information from each of these artists uh, that's, that that's we about plan that. on sharing over the next few months. So that. I'd expect a web specific uh, scenery developer type video coming in the near future. Mm, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Uh, I have one question over here. OK. Uh, you guys right. said that you would uh, update Fire it up. keys for an update. It would be to make an agreement with Google, but possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. 12. Would the same be applied to users it who should use be possible. on Steam? On Steam. Uh, that's something we'd have to look into how that ecosystem would support it. Um, but we mm. can definitely look into that. OK. I have a question up front for the two. OK. Um, so in regards to your uh, to the weather system, um, yeah. the um, I, I know this. Why, uh, why is he so happy? Um, some, I've, I've dipped my wing into a cloud once okay. before, and you get turbulence on one wing, but uh -huh. not on the other. Is that something that where the new cloud system and the rendering is tied to the physics engine in some way? Good question. Um, I'm not sure if that's currently implemented, but that is exactly the kind of thing that Ben and Austin are working on right now. They're spending all sorts of time and energy really dialing in Look uh, at the all the fun data you <laughs> saw, right? And then uh, attaching that to what you see in the outside world, too. So if not now, I definitely see fun stuff like mm, that coming. Nice. We also have some really cool new icing effects on the aircraft and the ground. Uh, so we're excited to see how that can make IFR um, and marginal VFR even more entertaining. Mm, oh, nice. Here in the back. Yeah, Michael Duran with Flightline VR. I'm wondering if you guys have any limitations when it comes to any of the flight envelopes, such as altitude or speed, if anything's being locked down, speed. or if you guys are allowing speed. us speed. to get at any altitude as long as there's enough How many simultaneous weather layers then support now? Yeah, gotcha. hopefully no, that's infinite. that's a great question. So or, I'm actually going to field that one to Austin. If you stop by the Honeycomb booth at 4.30 this afternoon, we're going to have Austin on Zoom, and that's a mm. perfect question for him. The current tree is a joke. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's I do two more. I agree. Um, so regarding the he's, he's less happy now. He's cutting it off, dude. Like, it looks over mountain and how the winds interact with them. Oh, absolutely. Because then yes, people start asking stupid cool questions. We also have cool stuff uh, with how the clouds interact with mountains. So mountain flying is definitely something we enjoy. What I would love to know is the wind interaction with the mountains, with whether you can fly gliders. Austin Third also month. has some cool stuff going on with the Shit thermals like in X-Plane <gasps> that are really specific to glider pilots. He read my so, fucking mind. Uh, you can expect to see some stuff on that. This guy soon. just read my fucking okay. mind. Right, last question. Last what question I did. From Nick. Nick. Hello, fucking hell. Nick, and I was wondering if X-Plane 12 will always Thank have up-to-date air act data or if we're still going to have to rely on third party like that. Dude, Nav did you see yeah, what just question. happened? We don't have any plans to change the way that Nav data works Fuck in X-Plane, but I believe that we will have a, a, a newer air act from versus X-Plane 11. So, well, yeah. hopefully so. Huh? All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, one thing that a lot of people will ask Thank is, you, when Tom. can you try this? And the good news is that that's today. You can stop by the Thrustmaster mm. and Honeycomb booths and give X-Plane 12 a try. Granted, not everything has been implemented in this build, but you can see some gorgeous 3D trees, the new lighting model, um, some new aircraft, and nice. it should be a lot of fun. And come to our Zoom session with Austin as well. Thank you so much. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay. A uh, big thank you to, uh, to both uh, Thompson, Philip, and the X-Plane team. Of course, we know they all wanted to be here today in person. Okay, we're not going to care too so much about this. So thank you to them for being part of the show today. Dude, what do you think about it, guys? just been announced here. Next door, in about 15 minutes, we have the team from Prepared ready to answer all oh, of your questions. Wow. So if anyone okay. out there is thinking that P3D is dead, they are actually here, and they're going to be sharing the latest details. They're actually next here, dying in minutes. front of you. We come back right here at 3.30 with... Agonizing in front of you and answering all your questions. Fabio. We need Thanks to see the takeoff replay. Oh, yeah, you're right. We'll be back in Thank you. Let's see if we can do it.
I'm going to click here and see where it goes, if it crashes or not. I'm not even going to jump on the other window for now. Let's see whether he's able to do it or not. It's two hour and a half back. Let's see. Oh my God, I explain. You're so good. Okay, guys, so I can stop the video here. That was interesting. I think uh, we got to see, we got to learn all of the most important things. Okay. Um, let's see if I can skip a little more here. We took off definitely. Okay. Poor pre prepared guy. MSFS and XP and it last. Yeah, exactly. Poor things. I mean, it's not that. It's not going. It's not going anywhere uh, yet. Well, I think it will soon, dude. Okay, so here's the takeoff. Why? All right, guys. Let's have a look. Um, ah, I can't. Okay, bad idea. All right, so here's the takeoff from the tower. So we're starting here, as you can see. So the problems here were the the trim. I think I should have done a little better, maybe a little a little more nose up trim, and then uh, it was definitely too derated. I don't know why. I think I chose 45, 46 degrees, and it was it was way too much. Should have gone with toga because we were super heavy, and we did a perfect aerosucre aerosucre takeoff in this case. Look at the trim already. I mean, fucking hell. And I had the same issue. Is this plane using the experiment? I don't know. Rotation, very late. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah, definitely. And maybe clipped a tree. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we did. Can I see this? Yes. Actually, wait. Okay. Replay sounds suck. Oh, yeah, we clip definitely. We actually. Maybe a house even. That tree is gone, baby. Completely. Mamma mia. It was horrible, guys. It was really horrible. Fucking hell. What if I want to see it from... Uh, uh, from here? What did I do? From... Uh, yeah, this little road. Okay, let's have a look. That's a proper Arosucre video, even. Uh, we clipped all of the lights of the runway, the runway lights, not the fence, but that tree is gone. Yeah, yeah, completely. Fucking hell, man. That was bad. That was really bad. Oh, we can hear the gear going. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, not the best. Not the best. Okay, okay. Fair enough. So what we'll do now, we're going to end the replay. It's going to take a little, a uh, few more minutes. And then, guys, I think I probably, I could probably uh, call it, wrap it up, you know. I could probably wrap it up and then take Molly for a walk. Because if I set another flight, it's going to be a little too late, I think. Yeah, the first officer needs a pee, for sure. It's very warm in this room, you know. Computers like, are li oh, okay, we have a crash. It, it was too much. We asked too much to explain tonight, guys. I think, uh, yeah. Or maybe he's doing something, who knows. But I think uh, we've been asking a little too much to explain, and uh, now he's going to complain. Atterrato heavy weather. Congratulazioni. Congratulazioni. Grande. Come è stato l'atterraggio? Spero meglio del mio. <laughs> Yeah, no, look, X-Plane is completely frozen now. 
buon tempo, bene, bene. Sì, il clima era buono, eh. Yeah, guys, this is like... Um, it's using still a lot of GPU. I don't understand why. Now it stopped. Mm, perfetto, grande. Change camera. Oh! Oh, man, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Was that easy? <laughs> okay, so the engines are off. Everything is off. APU is on. We're going to... Shut everything down, basically, for now. Il segreto è stato in buon avvicinamento, yeah. Oh, the camera was still at the small road. Oh, of course, yes, yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes perfect sense, man. Thank you. Okay, well, APU off. And uh, here we go, guys. Off. Battery off. Boom. Plane is gone. Oh, wow. Oh, this is XMViro, actually. Yeah, this is a problem with XMViro. Don't worry about it. It should fix itself by restarting. Yeah. But this something has remained with the shadow. So maybe it's gonna get turned black again. I don't know. It's a big shadow, this one. It's very black. Mm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see when it kicks in. Okay, at least we don't have a... Yeah, this guy. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all for me. Thank you very much. I'm not going to do a replay of the landing because it sucked majorly. So we're going to avoid it. Uh, so I will just leave you with a, um, a good night. Thank you so very much for uh, watching and uh, tuning in tonight, guys. Thank you so very much for the resubs and the new subs as well. So thank you, Frungi. Thank you, Heavy Weather. Thank you, Nedrage. You're being very, very kind. Thank you so very much. And um, especially, Frungi, thank you for gifting, for the gift subs, for the sub gifts, for gifting the subs. Okay. Buonanotte. Ancora un sacco di strada a fare, Struso, povero. <laughs> anyway, guys, buonanotte a tutti. Grazie mille. Take care of yourself. Enjoy. Molly also says good night. We're going to take a nice walk now. And uh, with this uh, screen... I will just uh, wish you a lovely night. Fish, Carvo, my friend, thank you. Subsonic, if you're still around, thank you very much. Uh, Astruso, Heavy Weather, Frungi, Fish. Uh, um, I think that's it. Subsonic, uh, Nedrich, if you're still around. Amet, if you're, uh, if you're around. Uh, anybody, anyway. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon, okay? Buonanotte, guys. Grazie. Bye-bye.